Welcome to Simply Learn. Starting on the AWS DevOps journey is like getting sail on a high-tech adventure. In this tutorial, we'll be your navigators through the vast seas of Amazon Web Services, helping you to harness the power of DevOps to streamline your software delivery and infrastructure management. From understanding DevOps principles to mastering AWS services, we will guide you through the transformative voyage. Whether you're a seasoned sailor or a novice explorer, our roadmap will unveil the treasures of continuous integration, containerization, automation, and beyond. So hoist the DevOps flag and get ready to chart a course towards efficiency, collaboration, and innovation in the AWS ecosystem. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that subscribe. Let's get started with the agenda for today's session. First, we will understand who exactly is an AWS DevOps engineer, then the skills required to become an AWS DevOps engineer, followed by that the important roles and responsibilities and now the most important point of today's session that is the roadmap or how to become an AWS DevOps engineer followed by that we will also discuss the salary compensation being offered to a professional AWS DevOps engineer and lastly we will discuss the important companies hiring AWS DevOps engineers so I hope I made myself clear with the agenda now let's get started with the first subheading that is who exactly is an AWS DevOps engineer the answer for this question is an AWS DevOps engineer is a professional who combines expertise in AWS, that is Amazon Web Services, with the DevOps principles to streamline software development and infrastructure management. They design, implement, and maintain cloud-based solutions leveraging AWS services like EC2, S3, and RDS. DevOps engineers automate processes using tools such as AWS CloudFormation and facilitate continuous integration and deployment pipelines. Their role focuses on improving collaboration between development and operations teams, ensuring efficient, reliable, and secure software delivery. With skills in infrastructure such as IAC or infrastructure as code, containerization, scripting, and continuous integration, AWS DevOps engineers play a critical role in optimizing cloud-based applications and services. And that's exactly an AWS DevOps engineer. Now moving ahead, we will discuss the important skills required to become an AWS DevOps engineer. The role of an AWS DevOps engineer requires a combination of technical and non-technical skills. Here are the top five skills that are crucial for an AWS DevOps engineer. Starting with the first one, AWS expertise. Proficiency in AWS is fundamental. DevOps engineers should have a deep understanding of AWS services including EC2, S3, RDS, VPC, and much more. They should be able to design, implement, and manage cloud infrastructure efficiently the next one is iac or infrastructure as code iac tools like aws cloud formation or terraform are essential for automating the provisioning and management of infrastructure devops engineers should be skilled in writing infrastructure code and templates to maintain consistency and reliability third one is scripting and programming knowledge of scripting languages example python bash and programming languages is important for automation and custom scripting. Python in particular is widely used for tasks like creating deployment scripts, automating AWS tasks, and developing custom solutions. Next one is containerization and orchestration. Skills in containerization technologies such as Doc and container orchestration platforms like Amazon ECS or Amazon EKS are vital. DevOps engineers should be able to build, deploy, and manage containerized applications. Now, the fifth one is CI CD pipelines or continuous integration and continuous deployment. Proficiency in setting up and maintaining CI CD pipelines using tools like AWS Code Pipeline, Jenkins, or GitHub CI CD is crucial. DevOps engineers should understand the principles of automated testing, integration, and continuous deployment to streamline software delivery. Effective communication and collaboration skills are essential as DevOps engineers work closely with DevOps development and operations teams to bridge the gap between them and ensure smooth software delivery and infrastructure management. Problem solving skills, the ability to troubleshoot issues and a strong understanding of security best practices are also important for this role. DevOps engineers need to be adaptable and keep up with the evolving AWS ecosystem and DevOps practices to remain effective in their role. Moving ahead, we will discuss the roles and responsibilities of an AWS DevOps engineer. The roles and responsibilities of an AWS DevOps engineer typically revolve around managing and optimizing the infrastructure and development pipelines to ensure efficient, reliable, 
and scalable operations. Here are the top five roles and responsibilities of an AWS DevOps engineer. Starting with the first one, that is IAC management. DevOps engineers are responsible for defining and managing infrastructure using IAC tools like AWS CloudFormation or Terraform. They create and maintain templates to provision and configure AWS resources, ensuring consistency and repeatability. Next one is continuous integration and deployment. Continuous integration and continuous deployment are also known as CICD is very critical. DevOps engineers establish and maintain CICD pipelines automating the build, test and deployment processes. They use AWS code pipeline Jenkins or similar tools to streamline the delivery of software and updates to production environment. Next is server and containerization management. DevOps engineers work with AWS, EC2 instances, ECS, EKS and other services to manage servers and containers. They monitor resource utilization, configure auto scaling and ensure high availability and fault tolerance. Managing and logging is the fourth one. Monitoring is a critical responsibility. DevOps engineers set up monitoring and alerting systems using AWS CloudWatch, analyze logs and respond to incidents promptly. They aim to maintain high system availability and performance. Security and compliance is the fifth one. So security is a priority. DevOps engineers implement and maintain security best practices, manage AWS identity and access management, that is IAM policies, and ensure compliance with regulatory requirements. They often work with AWS services like AWS Security Hub and AWS Config to assess and improve security. AWS DevOps engineers are involved in optimizing costs, ensuring disaster recovery and backup strategies, and collaborating with development and operations teams to enhance communication and collaboration. They may also assist in automating routine tasks and prompting a culture of continuous improvement and innovation within the organization. Now, the most important aspect of today's session, that is how to become or the roadmap to become an AWS DevOps engineer. The AWS DevOps Roadmap provides a high-level guide for individuals or teams looking to adopt DevOps practices in the context of Amazon Web Services. DevOps is a set of practices that combine software development, dev, and IT operations ops, to enhance collaboration and automate the process of software delivery and infrastructure management. AWS offers a range of services and tools to support AWS practices. Here is a roadmap to help you get started with AWS and DevOps. Creating a roadmap for AWS DevOps in 10 steps can help you guide your journey towards implementing DevOps practices on the Amazon Web Services platform. The first one is understand DevOps principles. Start by gaining a solid understanding of DevOps principles and practices. DevOps is about collaboration between development and operations team to automate and streamline the software delivery process. Second one is Learn AWS Fundamentals Get acquainted with AWS services and understand the basics of cloud computing, including compute, storage, and networking services. AWS offers a wide range of services that can be leveraged in your DevOps processes. Third one is set up your AWS account. Sign up for an AWS account and configure billing and security settings. You may also want to consider using AWS organizations for managing multiple accounts and AWS identity and access management for user access control. Fourth step is source code management. Implement source code management using a tool like Git and host your code repositories on a platform like AWS Code Commit or GitHub. Learn about version control best practices. The fifth step is continuous integration. Set up a CI CD pipeline using services like AWS Code Pipeline, AWS Code Build, or Jenkins. Automate building, testing, and deployment of your code. Sixth one being infrastructure as code or IAC. Embrace IAC principles to manage your AWS resources. Use tools like AWS CloudFormation, Terraform, or AWS CDK to define and provision infrastructure as code. Seventh step being deployment and orchestration. Use AWS services like AWS Elastic Beanstalk, AWS Elastic Container Service, or ECS, or Kubernetes on AWS, also known as EKS, for deploying and managing your applications. Orchestrate these deployments using AWS step functions or other automation tools. Now the eighth step is monitoring and logging. Implement robust monitoring and logging services using services like Amazon CloudWatch and AWS CloudTrail. 
create dashboards, set up alarms, and analyze logs to gain insights into your application's performance and security. Now, the ninth one, security and compliance. Focus on security by following AWS best practices using AWS Identity and Access Management IAM effectively and automating security checks for AWS Config and AWS Security Hub. Ensure your infrastructure and applications are compliant with industry standards. Now, the last, continuous learning and improvement. DevOps is an ongoing journey of improvement. Continuously monitor and optimize your DevOps pipeline, incorporate feedback and stay updated on new AWS services and best practices. Ensure a culture of learning and innovation within your team. Remember that this roadmap is a high level guide and the specific tools and services you choose may vary based on your project's requirements. DevOps is your culture of collaboration and automation. So adapt your DevOps practice to best suit your team's needs and the AWS services that you use. Now moving ahead, we will discuss the salary compensations being offered to an AWS DevOps engineer. Now, if you are in India and a beginner in AWS DevOps domain, you can expect salaries ranging from 3 lakhs to 6 lakhs per annum. If you're an intermediate candidate with minimum 2 years of experience, then you can expect salaries ranging from 6 lakhs to 12 lakhs per annum. If you are an experienced candidate with more than 4 years of experience, the minimum salary you can expect is 12 lakhs and it can go all the way up to 20 or more based on the project you're working with, company you're working with and the location. Now, if you are in America and if you are a beginner in AWS DevOps domain, then you can expect an average salary of $80,000 to $120,000 per annum. And if you are an intermediate candidate with minimum two years of experience, then you can expect a salary ranging from $120,000 to $150,000 per annum. If you are a highly experienced candidate, maybe with four or more than that, you can expect salaries ranging from $150,000 to $200,000 per annum. And again, it might also go up based on the project you're working with, based on the company you're working with, and in the location. Now, moving ahead, we will discuss the next important and also the last important topic of today's discussion, that is the companies hiring AWS DevOps engineers. There are a lot of companies hiring AWS DevOps engineers, but the prominent players in this particular field is Amazon Web Services, Google, Microsoft, IBM, Oracle, Netflix, Adobe, Cisco, Slack, Salesforce, Deloitte, and much more. And with that, we have reached the end of the session on the AWS DevOps Roadmap. Should you need any assistance, PPT, or any other resources used in the session, then please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you and keep learning. Stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.